we've got a fantastic film for you this month. It's December and we're coming to you from the reed beds of Norfolk where we're stalking Chinese water deer with Chris Rogers from the Euston Estate. Native to China and North Korea, Chinese water deer are one of the oldest known deer species and are thought to date back some 35 million years. First introduced by the Duke of Bedford over a hundred years ago, today Chinese water deer typically inhabit the reed beds and fenlands of the Norfolk Broads and surrounding areas. Today I had the huge thrill of stalking my first Chinese water deer with Chris Rogers from the Euston Estate. Great to see you Chris, yeah, morning. thanks for having us over here today. That's right, a pleasure. I yeah. know, fantastic, looking forward to it. While it's still dark, I spend a few minutes familiarising myself with the equipment. Today I'm using a Blaza R8 in 243 calibre with 105 grain ammunition. It's then a short drive to Chris's stalking ground in Norfolk. It's December and we set out in the early morning gloom. As ever, nature throws up its usual splattering of delights as the gloom gives way to early morning light. Two deer quickly reveal themselves emerging from the reeds. However, Chris has specific cull bucks in mind for this morning, and so we move on in search of other animals. Chinese water deer bucks and does are similar in size, and so careful observation is crucial if we are to ensure that the correct animal is taken. It's not long before further animals emerge, weaving in and out of the reeds before crossing the ride ahead of us. I sized this animal up in the scope, but again, it's not the animal that we're after, and so we let it pass by and back into the reeds from whence it came. So I've just got my normal pair of binoculars with me. Yeah. You've got a spotting scope. Can you tell us why you carry that for Chinese water there? Yeah, well the main reason is that um, really what we're looking for from a, a trophy buck point of view yeah. is two teeth. So three, four hundred metres, your ten power binoculars they're a lovely picture, sure, but they can't tell you very much detail. Because, I mean, the tooth length is going to be what, a couple of inches? Yeah, sort of exactly. Thing. So, this the scope that I'm using goes up to 50 times magnification. Yeah. So it means that two, three, four hundred meters away, we can have a, a yeah. good idea of what's there, and then whether it's worth walking all that way over to try sure. and get it. So, I mean, a really good bit of kit if you're hunting Chinese water deer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I mean, with, with all deer management as well. If you can afford it, a, a scope is, is a great idea. So you can look at your, you know, antlers in you, detail. You see them using up on the hill a yeah. lot, don't you? When yeah. The extended ranges. Yeah. Yeah. But it's nice to see their application yeah. used in lowland stalking yeah. as but well. But definitely, but you know, specific. If you're looking for antler quality, especially of the smaller deer, mm. you know, muntjac, roe, yeah. a spotting scope really is invaluable. Sure. Yeah. Decide on the animal you want before you stalk it. Yeah. 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 Great. Using both a combination of binoculars and spotting scope, we make further plans to fine effect as we soon spot a shootable buck. Chris attempts to stop the animal using a bootload, but it quickly disappears into the reeds. I get on the sticks and ready myself, only for it to emerge a few seconds later. Fretful seconds pass as I wait for Chris to confirm his initial observation. Oh, my 
right to be just on this one. Yeah. A few seconds later, and it gives me the nod. I reload and keep my eye on the shot beast. Let's look at that again. With the animal quartering on at around 90 yards, I take aim at a slightly forward placed heart lung shot, causing the animal to drop on the spot. Keeping my eye on the deer, I reload in case a follow up shot is required. Okay, so we've got our little cull buck. Um, now, I don't know if you picked this up on camera, but he was quartering on a little bit. So I've taken him a little bit further forward and we should find that the exit wound then has come a little bit further out. So the, the shot effectively has come through the animal like this. He's an absolutely beautiful little animal, Chris. Yeah. Thanks ever so much. I mean, he's my first Chinese water deer. I'm absolutely chuffed a bit with yeah, him. Yeah. I know he's not a biggie, but yeah. uh, perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about what we're looking at. Yeah, so I mean, we, we basically we've got, you know, uh, a young, year old perhaps uh, cull buck yeah um, so he'll have a little set of teeth just coming through the gum line there look. okay um, yeah you just I see mean, the start of a tiny tusk exactly, can't yeah you? yeah and um, what would we be looking for if we were trophy hunting yeah really for a CIC gold medal you're looking for a tooth that's uh, coming below the lower jawline okay um, so I mean really it would be pronounced it would be coming down here what an inch or two that's sort yeah, of length in, yeah in, yeah in, inch and a half okay below the gun are we looking for anything else with Chinese water deer when we're selecting our, 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 our trophy animals uh, no more than the the normal thing in terms of you know condition yeah old animals yeah. obviously yeah um, the, the area we're at here there's a high density of Chinese water deer yeah and the farmer wants them thinned out a little sure. bit so um, sure. yeah really sort of for us this is the ideal one to, well, to I, take. I mean I, I'm chuffed a bit, honestly, it's just nice to you know yeah. nice to get off the mark with yeah. Chinese water deer. Yeah. You you said before that they were beautifully adapted to their environment, I mm -hmm. think, didn't you? I mean we can see how I mean, the thickness of the coat here yeah, is yeah. absolutely terrific, isn't it? Not yeah. a big animal, just a, a, a small beast. Yeah, but yeah. uh you know as I say, absolutely chuffed a bit. Thanks very much. No, good, well done. I take a moment to have my photo taken as I'm elated. This is my first Chinese water deer and last of the UK's six species of deer that I had left to hunt. Okay, so earlier you saw us take a little cull buck. Um, now I'm here with Chris Rogers, and as chance has it, Chris is a qualified CIC trophy measurer. So rather than waste his talents, we're gonna ask him to give us a quick masterclass on how to measure a Chinese water deer trophy. Uh, now Chris, perhaps for those that are unaware, you can tell us a little bit more about what the CIC is, first of all. Yeah, so the, the CIC is predominantly an international conservation organization. Um, promoting sustainable hunting okay. for the benefit of local inhabitants of that area. Sure. Um, but it's also historically um, got a measuring formula for every horned and antlered game from sure. around the world. And if someone suits a trophy that they think it could be respectable, then it's worth visiting someone like yourself in order to get that measured. Yeah, yeah. There's there's um, eight certified CIC measurers around the UK. Okay. Um, we can be visited at home, people can send trophies in the post to us, or you can visit us at the game fairs we attend throughout the yeah. summer. Great stuff. And so we're back on this Chinese water deer. We've got a, a skull here, we've got a couple of skulls in front of us. One is obviously a muntjac, yeah. the other is a Chinese water deer. Now this is something special, I think. Yeah, yeah, it? this is um, an exceptionally large, um, for a Chinese water deer trophy, quite old animal. Um, this one is um, certainly in the top five largest is it really? Chinese water yeah. deer recorded. Yeah. Um, wow. And, um, and, and you can see, I mean, the, the, you've got the Munchak uh, tusks here yeah. in comparison to the, yeah. the, the I mean, CWD. This, you know, this, this is a big Chinese, uh, a big Munchak tooth here. Yeah. Um, and obviously compared to the Chinese water deer, yeah, it's, huge, it's a lot smaller. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously you can see the, the difference in the skulls here as well. Yeah. Um, obviously Chinese water deer don't have antlers, so yeah, they don't have any pedicles. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it really. And, and, and tell us, Chris, I mean, if, if you had shot yourself a trophy, a nice yeah. Chinese water deer buck, and you were thinking about getting it measured, can you give us a ballpark of what those tusks would need to be in terms yeah, of length yeah. and circumference? Um, I mean, generally, if, if 
any Chinese water deer buck that's got reasonable sized teeth um, will probably score a medal okay. because that's the, the way the formula is. Okay. Um, but um, for a chance of a gold medal, you're looking at a tooth length of around 75 millimetres. Okay. Um, okay. Because unlike the other deer that we measure, Chinese water deer are measured in millimetres rather than centimetres. Sure. Okay. And you were talking about circumference as well. I mean, that, that's part of the measurement as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the formula for Chinese water deer is relatively simple. Um, it's just a measurement from the, the end of the tooth around the outside edge to the tip. Yeah. Um, and then it's the circumference of the tooth wherever the widest point is. Sure. Um, any difference between the two teeth are then deducted. Okay. Um, okay. So, so you want them to be nice and uniform, really, yeah, on both sides. Yeah, yeah. so symmetry is key okay. for maximising yeah. the score. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, some great advice there um, from Chris. Thanks ever so much, Chris. And if you get uh, shoot yourself a Chinese water deer and you think it's worth measuring, then um, do bear the CIC in mind. It's been a terrific day in Norfolk, and our thanks go to Chris Rogers and the Euston Estate for a great day. If you'd like to learn more about how to become a proficient deer stalker, then visit our website for more information and training courses, www.countydeerstalking.co.uk forward slash proficient stalker. <laughs>